going to smash him and punish him to show him how to fight. I can see that left hook and it's too slow. It's too slow for me. I'm under person to cut down. Edison Showstopper Dad Yeba. I'm going to impose my will. I'm going to be successful. My definition of success is doing what I want, when I want, and how I want. And I feel like whatever he throws at me, I've got the, the tools to nullify him. Cameron Richards! Cameron, I'm coming to smash you. I'm coming to teach you a lesson. What you never get, I'll teach you. you get the lesson. Good luck. I hope your training camp went well, and I look forward to meeting you inside the hex. Cameron Pritchard versus Aniset Kanyeba. Proudly presented by Keith O. Bet Exchange. And let's take a look at the Samsung tail that take nine years. The elder is Aniset Kanyeba, one centimetre difference in height, and a six centimetre reach advantage in advance for the South African Cameron Pritchard. Going to be a fantastic fight on the feet or on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be a cracking fight. And without further ado, let's pass it up to Cyrus Fees for the official fight announcement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds in the EFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He is a mixed martial artist with a record of eight wins and nine defeats. Standing 1.77 meters tall, weighing in at 69 kilos. Fighting out of Boxburg, South Africa. Make some noise for Anderson Showstopper Kanyeba. And now his opponent, standing across the hexagon and fighting out of the blue corner. He is a BJJ specialist with a pro record of four wins and one defeat. Standing 1.78 meters tall, weighing in at 69 kilos. Fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa. I give you Cameron Pritchard. Your referee when the action begins, Vickers Swart. And Tom be joining us this evening at Sun City, the RDG Hexagon Girls Ref, Diff and Gearbox has 10 branches countrywide. Find your nearest RDG branch at rgg.co.za, now open in N4 Gateway Park, Pretoria. Well, it's game time. Here we go. Lightweight division. As it is time for the debut of Pritchard, but that is Anaset Kenyeba, the showstopper, once again stepping up to fight. It's what he does. And here comes Cameron Pritchard. Can he make an impact in this division immediately? And Vika Swart will get us started. Round one brought to you by Dragon Energy in the white. Anaset Kenyeba in the gray. Cameron Pritchard, and this fight is on. No glove touch. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Cameron's looking huge. He's looking fantastic at lightweight. Like the side, size differential. He's looking in beautiful shape. But Kenyeba coming oh, straight forward. Oh, here comes Kenyeba with the big combination. but. It was Cameron Pritchard that had that big right hand. I can see Cameron's looking for the for the opening. You can see he's looking for the takedown. Kanyeva said he's going to go and he's covering up well. And he's going to answer back. Oh, he's here he goes. There's the right hand. He's wobbled. Cameron Pritchard's hurt. And Kanyeva smells blood. He's trying to put him away. A fantastic combination by Anderson. And Cameron's here comes rocked. the recovery by Pritchard. And he's still very much in this fight. But make no mistake. He was stunned by that punch. Yeah, it was a fantastic lightning quick combination by Anset Kanyeba. And Kanyeba with some nice reversals here. Better than we've seen in a while from him as his game's ever evolving. And Kanyeba, if I'm Kanyeba, I'm backing up out of this and I'm throwing strikes, yeah. but he is all tied up here with Pritchard. Yeah, and they're reversing really nicely back and forth. And now Cameron's taking his time. Another right works. hand. The Cameron combinations. And Cameron shoot for the takedown. And that's on top. Beautiful sprawl by Kanyeba. And Pritchard could be in trouble. Kenyeba doing the smart thing and getting out of the grasp of oh. Pritchard. And a big spinning back fist. He missed every bit of that one. Kenyeba oh, one right. two. Fantastic he's keeping right. it simple, Simon. Oh, he's going to go. What a shot! It's oh. over. Boom! Shot the locker. What a finish! The show stopped by Anderson Kenyeba. What a fantastic stand-up performance by Anderson Kenyeba. They wow. call him the showstopper, and boy, did he stop that show. Oh, yeah, he stopped the show. He just got himself a bonus, too. Getting it done, son. 
He said he doesn't want to go to decision. He says he doesn't want to go past the first round. He was damn sure he was going to make sure that Mike didn't go past the first round. Cracking show by Anse. The crowd going wild, and Ken Yeable wants a title shot. Yeah, he wants the he shot. He wants a title shot. And he does he deserve it? He says he wants Martin from started. He says he wants Bazzani. He says he wants Gavin and Hughes. And on the evidence of that show, boy, who's going to deny him that? Wow, that was something special. What a show of power of striking by Anise Kenyeva and a tough, tough luck for Cameron Pritchard. He came in with a lot of hype in this division. Yeah. I think he will most definitely bounce back. Let's just be honest, he is one of the top talents. Oh, without a doubt. You know, and on his back, he's dangerous for anyone. He's going to be a beast at lightweight. Didn't get to show us what fantastic Brazilian Jiu Jitsu he has. Wow, wow, wow. This night just keeps getting better. We talked about it, Simon, coming into this fight. Maybe not the biggest names in the in our organization on the card, but that's often when you get the best fights. And it is delivering in such a big way. Yeah, and what a way to come off a loss. Here's Super. the replay. Boom. Some great combinations from Anaset. So lightning quick, that right hand coming off the tackle of Cameron's head, using the hex to keep himself upright. He was wobbled several times in that fight. He was always trying to come back, but it was a cracking shot by Ken Yeba. And referee Vickers White had no choice but to stop the fight for the benefit of Cameron's safety. Superb boxing by Anset Ken Yeba. He's got that boxing background. We've never truly seen his KO ability. The fight went exactly where he wanted. He said he wanted to keep her on the feet. He didn't want to go with Cameron Pritchard on the ground. Cracking way of coming back from a loss against Ndile Manangela. He wants Gavin Hughes. He's called out Martin van Staden. He's called out Dave Mazzani. Where is this guy going to go next? His 19th fight in the EFC, and what a great victory it was for him. And without further ado, let's pass it up to Cyrus Bees for the official results announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vicka Swart calls a stop to the contest. At 1 minute, 32 seconds of round number one, your winner by knockout, Anacid Showstopper, Ken Yeba. Guys, I'm here with Anaset, the showstopper Kenya. But Anaset, you said you wanted to finish. You didn't want to go decision. Did it work out exactly as you planned? Did you want to keep it on the feet? Uh, the first thing, I thank my Lord because everything is because of God. You know what? This is my 19th fight in EFC. I never even fought to another organization. All my 19 fights is on EFC. I, I win four on the row, I win two on the row, I win a lot of fights. I need to fight two people. If I'm not fighting Mazani for the title shot, matchmaker Graham is the one who's gonna do everything. I need to fight Martin. Either Martin, either the guy who come from UK. The one Martin beat for it. Gavin Hughes. Yes. Those people I want to fight. Because I need to fight for the bed. Come on. I'm, that is my six years in EFC. I need to fight also for that. Because I told him it's gonna sleep. My boxing level is not his boxing level. Martin, the punishment from Sardin is here tonight. What do you have to say to him? Martin, yeah, because he's a punisher. Me and the showstopper, I want to, let's see what is going to happen. But thank you for all my teammates. And then also, people tried from Pretoria and kept on, yeah? from kept on. And then I was also, people from our embassy, from our embassy, my doctor and then my teammate, my coach, my coach, Comtesse CIB, Sylvester, the Matt Penner, the Matt Penner, thank you for your help. Temba Gorumbo, thank you for your help, guys. And my, 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 my judo, my judo coach, was, uh, Rodney Kuku. Everything was awesome. Congratulations, a wonderful performance. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Anisek, the showstopper, Ken Yaba! Well, well, it appears that you can teach an old dog new tricks. Anisek Ken Yaba with the biggest win of his career and his eyes are solely focused on the EFC Lightweight Championship of the world currently held by Dave Mazzani. He said he'd like to fight Mazzani, Van Staden, or Gavin Hughes. And when you have a performance like that, it is very, very hard to deny him. Anise Kenyeva already disappearing into the crowd and celebrating.